In this example, we see before we can continue, we do not have the format base exponent answer. Not yet. So far, we have a coefficient there in the front. But all we're going to do is try and first of all, where we used to try and solve x, now we're going to try and solve the base that contains the unknown. Which means in this side, to solve 7 to the power of x, we're just going to divide with a 3 on both sides. And here we find 7x is equal to 20. Once I get there, as we've looked now, now we place both of those values inside a log base 10. In other words, we make it the input of such a function. And at that point, we can put the x in front, have a log 7 equal to log 20. And now divide both sides with a log, log 7. Divide both sides with a log 7. On the one side it cancels out completely. And on the other side we have x is log 20 divided by log 7. Solve it with our calculator. 20 log divided by 7 log equals 1,5 three nine so it's going to be one comma five three nine would be one comma four five four and there is our solution x is equal to approximately one comma five four one more example now remember once again we are trying to solve the base that contains the unknown. Now remember, once again, we are going to solve the base containing the unknown. Now this looks really intense, but if you want to, you can, for just for a little while, replace this with a different variable. The base with the unknown that I'm trying to solve, the unknown in the exponent. So let's just make it a y for a little while. You see, well, that we could have done since since primary school, actually. So to solve that, I get 9y is equal to 18. Therefore, y must be equal to 2. And now remember, y is just a placeholder. Just for a little while, it's taking the place of 5 to the power of 2x plus 1, I think. Yes, 2x plus 1. He was just a placeholder for that factor. And so that must be equal to 2. Once again, all I need to do is place both of these sides now inside a log with a base 10. Then the exponent here, this time the exponent is much more than just an x. It's actually a whole expression, but it doesn't change anything. That whole expression gets multiplied to the front. So we get that expression 2x plus 1. The whole expression gets multiplied with a log 5 is equal to a log 2. Solve by dividing both sides with that factor, log 5, and this point I can cancel it so I have on the left hand side 2x plus 1 and on the right hand side I'm going to use my calculator to solve it but I'm not just just yet going to do that just because otherwise I need to just write that whole number out all the way to the end no no I'm actually going to solve it right at the end I'm going to wait till right at the end before I use my calculator so first I want to get rid of the plus 1 so I'm going to subtract a 1 on both sides and after that, I'm going to divide with a 2. So, subtracting a 1 leaves me with this answer. Log 2 over log 5 minus 1. And now I need to divide with a 2 on both sides. Leaving me with an x. And now, it's 
since I only have x on the left hand side, let's go work out the right hand side. So we have 2 log, or log of 2, divided by 5 log, minus that 1, and I'm just going to get an answer for it. So that is my numerator, that is what's happening in the numerator in the top, and that answer must still be divided by a 2 to give me 0, comma, negative, negative 0, comma, 2846, so negative 0, comma, 28 if I'm rounding to two decimal places. And there we go. I think that's not too bad. Good luck, try a few on your own now.